RC Harris Water Treatment Building is Art Deco and looks like it should be a museum, but it is actually a working water treatment plant. It was constructed in the 1930s and opened in 1941 and is the largest water treatment plant in Toronto. It produces approximately 30% of Toronto's drinking water. It was named after Roland Coldwell Harris, Commissioner of the Works from 1912 to his death in 1945. It is a National Historic Civil Engineering site, a designated historical building and has been featured in many film, fashion and TV shoots. The 3.5 kilometre boardwalk winds along the beaches from Silver Birch Avenue to Ashbridge's Bay Park, west of Woodbine Avenue. Barmy Beach Park was created in 1903. It is a 7.3 hectare park. Home to the Barmy Beach Club, the park features a lawn bowling club, a playground and outdoor fitness equipment. The Martin Goodman Trail runs through the park parallel to the boardwalk and beach. The Silver Birch Dogs Off Leash area lies along the shoreline southeast of the park, stretching east from the foot of Silver Birch Avenue to the foot of Nursewood Road. It allows commercial dog walkers and is unfenced. The earliest name for this area was the Eastern Beaches, and it originally consisted of cottages, small residences, owned or rented by people working for the Grand Trunk Railway and living on Lakeview Avenue, which is now Gerrard Street. In 1908, the city began to acquire most of the private property along the shoreline from Woodbine to Lutey Avenue. They had an idea to turn the area into one giant park eventually. The Harbour Commission constructed the Lutey Lifeguard Station in the early 1920s. Lake Ontario, the beaches, Leslieville. December. Tower all the way over there. That looks cold. Ice on the pier. That's lovely. Kew Gardens is a busy 6.5 hectare park and it stretches from Queen Street East down to the lake shore. Along its Queen Street edge you'll find a cenotaph, seasonal flower beds and a library. It's Kew Gardens, Leslieville. It's not a bad little area. The park interior features a playground, trails, naturalised and open grassy areas, a baseball, diamond and bandstand. Where the park meets the bench there are tennis courts, a sports pad used as a sports area in summer and artificial ice rink in winter, an enclosed seasonal winter fire pit and a building with change rooms, washrooms, snack bar and a water bottle filling station. At the foot of Lee Avenue lies the Gardener's Cottage, a historic building also known as Q Williams House, and it's surrounded by attractive seasonal plantings. Q Williams House. It's a really lovely little cottage and quite sweet um, when you're up close to it. And then I found um, a little way along a fountain that was dedicated to somebody else, which was quite interesting.
definitely one of the things I love about Toronto is all the um, different park areas and trails that you can walk. So much interest in history as well, and they do try to keep it nice. Considering it's a really built up city, it's so lovely to have these areas of calm and quiet, if you like. Enjoy it. At its south end, this park meets up with the boardwalk and beach that run along the Lake Ontario shoreline. This area is known as Beaches Park and features a fenced in dogs off leash area as well as the iconic Luti lifeguard station. What a beautiful Christmas Day morning. The sun's out. Blue skies. It's cold. But it's exhilarating. So Woodbine sits at the foot of Woodbine Avenue and is a 15.2 hectare park and the gateway to three kilometres of sandy waterfront stretching eastward along the Lake Ontario shoreline. Woodbine Beach is a popular spot for picnics, sunbathing and swimming with wide stretches of sand, summer lifeguards, a bathing station and the Donald D. Somerville Outdoor Olympic Pool nearby. Woodbine Beach was absolutely gorgeous. You could see um, just the view. I can imagine in summertime it's absolutely packed there and I can see why it is absolutely lovely. So this area is known as Ashbridge's Bay Park and it's located on the waterfront in the east end of Toronto. Ashbridge's Bay was once part of the large sand dune chain spanning the majority of the Toronto Harbour and these dunes were the result of sediment from the Scarborough Bluffs being deposited by the currents from the lake. Portions of the Martin Goodman and waterfront trails pass through the north end of Ashbridge's Bay Park. Picnics, bird watching and hiking are all popular activities available here and there is also a skateboard park nearby. I loved it because there were so many animals, birds and squirrels wandering around. I was in my element. 